it is a nice day, nice and mild. I'm packing the Somers course fishery. I'm on big gearies today, and this is an angling to a silverfish qualifier. There's two sections. I'm on an MPEG, PEG 2, on big gearies. Actually, I've never seen it in on any of the matches I fish, and they normally start at about PEG 5, sometimes PEG 7. The hot pegs in my section are 7 to 13. So I'm really up against it because there's some good angles on those pegs, but they are the red hot skimmer pegs. If there's going to be any quality skimmers, which will probably win. There was a silverfish two day thing on yesterday, uh, yesterday and day before. Peg um, 28 pound came off peg 13, paralyzed the match. And there were some big skimmers. I saw his cat shot. Where I am today, it's probably small fish, roach, little skimmers. Not sure if I'll see any big skimmers. Hopefully I will, but I'm not sure. But it's mostly small fish. Get your head down and get bites. Roach, little skimmers. A lot of stockies potentially in this corner. That's my only problem. They were catching them loads in the last two days. And obviously they don't count. So uh, F1s don't count or anything. It's an out and out silverfish match. Now, it's, as you can see, it's very coloured. It's very, very coloured, this lake. Um, it might be pellets. Any other venue, you'd say it'd be worms, but I've um, been talking to the lads that have fished the last two days and worms have been rubbish. It's been like they put a cormorant in the peg. <laughs> so uh, so that's got to be um, water temperature dominated, but it's been maggots and, and uh, pinkies. Um, so that's the route I'm going down anyway, and it's how I like to fish anyway. So uh, we're going to fish four lines, too short, too long. Really, really steep hill behind me. You can see that? So I don't even need a pole roller, I'm just using the hill. So I might have to stand up to ship back and stuff. I'm going to fish thir two 13 metre swims and two five section swims. I could push out to 14 if I need to, but um, it's going to be really awkward. I can ship back in one in thir with 13 metres. Um, so we'll, we'll try and fish 13. If we have to fish 14, then, uh, then so be it. But that means probably it's a very low weight day. I think you're going to need 20 pounds to, to qualify. It's not going to be an easy match. Um, anyway, I've only got two rigs set up at the moment. I might set up a duplicate um, small fish rig on a four elastic, but I've got two rigs on a five elastic. It's four foot everywhere. Well, four and a half foot, so we say tops everywhere, um, which is actually a bit deeper than I expected down this this way. It gets deeper to the right, and those pegs opposite, it goes down to two foot. So um, these are the deeps. This is the dam. This is what the high bank or the dam wall or whatever you want to call it. Um, it is deeper this this side, so these are good winter pegs. But where I am, I think I'm too far. Even though I'm an M peg, I think I'm too far to the left. The the, the danger men will be that way. Um, seven, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So, um, but we'll see. We've got uh, we've got five hours to to try and catch some fish. And uh, I've not been too well the last couple of days, so I'm a little bit out of sorts. But but this is a nice simple sort of match. I could have set a feeder rod up as well, by the way, and I was thoroughly expecting to fish a feeder on most of the pegs but because i'm on a corner uh, sorry it's because i'm on an end and it's shallow and and i've got loads of room and i know there's small fish in the area i'm just going to fish the pole so it might be a slow start but i think if i'm going to win i need to catch on uh, on the pole so i haven't set the feeder up rightly or wrongly just fish nice and positive and fish to win <laughs> wish me luck show you my bait quick Dead maggots, dead pinkies, live pinkies, micros, expanders, two and four mil. That's my mix. It's just very damp, super crush expander. Dead maggots, dead pinkies, live maggots. That's it, no worms. That's all we've got. We lubricate this one. Any second now, they're going to blow the whistle. Want to get that elastic as forgiving as possible. Winter skimmers. I've even got a pole roost today. I've only got three rigs set off, and it's a awkward peg, so I've just propped them up behind me. Just one little ball like that, I think. More than enough to get started. There we are. Tiny bit of loose. And a pinch of live maggots as well. A little white tree there. Can you feed it there? Nice and accurate. And a 
feet. Big ball to my left and forget about it. Just one nice big one. Completely leave that alone. Gets deeper to my left by the way. Surprised. I've never drawn anywhere near this area before. Very surprised. Gonna do the same long, just one little ball, just like that. Pinch of life nuggets, very small amount, straight in front. Some tape, got some tape just there. Level with that, and there. it's just a nice dark shadow to fish into there. Yeah, one nice big ball, quite a bit of bait in, quite a bit to the left, more to the left than I'd normally fish, but that's how where it comes up the nicest. It comes up nicest there and I can see my float the nicest there. So uh, that's it. Um, incidentally I've, I've, I've put my extra long legs in so I can get out that much further because uh, it just it's not to gain any distance there although it does help. It's more because of the slope behind me and the pole behind me. The single dead nugget. Positive rig, four inch up length. It's about four foot there. It's four foot four inches in front, and it's four foot eight inches there. But left, right. Ideally, it'd be sort of ten o'clock, two o'clock. Not possible today with this peg and the way it plums up. It sort of goes down and up and all sorts. Plus, with the tree shadow opposite. It's really awkward to see my float anywhere other than that solid bit. That solid bit. I've got just white water here. But we're just back between these four swims. We might feed loose maggots, we might not. Sometimes that brings in too many roach. But we might want the roach on a peg like this. Basically I've got a heavy rig with a four inch up length and a and a light rig with a with a six inch up length. But th fully expecting a slow start and maybe nothing at all short. Let's have a quick look there. Nice one. A lot closer in here. But that's where it's the same depth. Five sections. Got two pinkies on. Two dead pinkies. A lot of people have started long. Keep an eye on them, see if they're catch fish. I think we'll catch 90% of our fish long. Maybe we'll, we'll catch last hour short. I think. Like I say it could be a £10 day eh, if, if it does switch off. But it has gone miles, so I'm hoping the silvers will have a bit of a munch. The carp will. I like say it could be a. I love fishing for quality skimmers on this lake, but. Um, it might be more of a roachy day. We shall see. So I've just shipped out those two dead pinkies long. Just moved my float up a few inches. No problem using the same rig for two or three swims. I mean, this is an iffy peg, but I have got a chance if I can catch a, enough small fish. But I did notice on the Silverfish Festival. Uh, the last two days, the end peg this way, it wasn't this peg, it was about peg five, has caught nothing the last two days, they've all been up in that deep, 12, 11, 12, 13, trying to make excuses for myself. 
We'll pop the uh, the lighter rig on in a sec as well. I thought we'd start on the, the most positive rig I've got. Just try a little bit past the feed. Just flicking the rig out. If I go sort of 40 minutes without a bite, I'll set the feeder rod up. No bites, trembles or anything. Bit of a worry. Might take an hour to get a bite. Not a sniff. Just flick a few maggots. Just draw a few roach in. Perfect. Peg 37 dollar skimmer. First fish I've seen caught, not seen anyone else have a fish yet. A little rope's just topped, just past where I'm feeding. Let's get this lighter again. Single live maggot. Might be a live maggot day, might be a pinky day. We'll flick a few maggots. It's nice and calm so I can feed them very accurately. We just keep dripping very, very lightly. Three and four maggots. Four in there. Just trying to attract some fish, and draw them to that ball. I don't want to lose feed all day there, I don't think, but at least just to drag a few fish in. We'll pop our little drip pot on as well, and just pepper some in. If it is hard, it might be a pinky day. But just netted a stocky on the feeder, two pounds. Been warned that'll be the problem today. Getting a bite would be nice, wouldn't it? This isn't a very good sign. Pop a pinky on now. Live pinky. Nice big single pinky. I'm going to pop the pot on. Uh, pop my uh, lid on. Two or three live maggots and half a dozen pinkies. There's one no show today and it's next to the guy opposite me. He's not in my section anyway, thankfully, but he's on peg 37 and 36, which is a good peg, hasn't been drawn. So uh, he'll, I've already told him he'll, he should win the section of that peg opposite me. He's on a point. He's had two skimmers now. There's a big ball of carp top in there, I can see. That's three I've seen roll in that same spot and another ball. So we've got a single pinky on now. Just trying to get a bite, something to work at. If I know there's any fish there, then we can carry on feeding. The other option is to go out to 15, 16 metres. It's going to be really awkward with that hill behind, but we might end up having to do that. That'll be uh, plan B, and then plan C is to uh, pop the uh, pop the feeder on. Uh, that's a car. Lovely little shy bite. Pretty sure it's a carp. You never know, might be a tench. Not doing so much now. I'm still thinking it's a carp. Just doesn't know he's hooked. 
<laughs> Came right in. Might as well play him and see him and try and save our up length. Obviously, there's not a lot else there. We're a bigger now. We've woke up now. In common. Amazing, they can't break an 08 up length. About the same size as what the lad next to me has had. Same, I'll, I'll probably do, I'll net him and then he'll do a death roll in the up and land in it. Number one. Loads of these in here now. You watch him break me up link now. Not on an 08 bottom, is it? Hopefully, no ease out the peg. And get some fish. That was on a live, mate. Let's put a dead one on. I'm gonna have to feed again. Just put a little tiny nugget in. It's a tiny little dab. That one carp could have easily eaten all of that. I think we're getting a little arrival of silver fishing. I was just about to get off my bum and uh, set my feeder rod up. Incidentally, I've got my mini extension. I'll whack on in a sec as well so I can fish past my feed. Caught most of my fish the other day at Meadowlands all past my feed. Got a carp. Oh, right, drop skimmer, skimmer, good. That's the sort of stump I'm expecting. Whereas they'll catch fish up to two pound further up. I don't think we'll see many of those. I'm going to feed again. Just going straight back in. It took 35 minutes to catch that. Which is Takes a good half hour for them to arrive. Once they're here, they should be, you know, I'm open to catch a few now. Just got to work out how to feed, and, and uh, I'd like to keep giving them a little bit of food. It's just whether they'll they'll have it on their heads or not today. But we caught that skimmer not long after a little top up, so uh, that's a good sign. I think we're going to want tiny little amounts to begin with and not get too giddy. So if there's any number of skimmers there we'd have, we'd have gone in and caught one straight away. This water's still very cold, even though the temp well, air temperature is nice and mild now, the water's still very cold I think. Come on. Wait a little bit for that. See for a roach or a slightly better skimmer. It's a slightly better skimmer. Just pull it a bit. Hybrid, I think. Yeah, hybrid. That's a fat fish that. Good. I'm just 
just wet this down a little bit more. I'm just going to feed a little, very little, but that's for the smallest top spot there. Fish, whatever this is. A little hybrid. Took a while to catch that. I'm going to swap to the other rig and uh, I think we're going to just try and drip maggots because it's, it's not a fast response off that, off those, uh, off the ground way. So let's just see if they just want maggots potted in. Single live red maggot. It might be more of a maggot day with an occasional bit of ground bait. So probably eight to ten maggots. We'll see if they have that. But I think at the moment, just dripping in live maggots with a single on the hook is probably going to be a decent way to catch a few fish. Doesn't feel like they want a load of ground weight at the moment. I know it's early days. It's hard to gauge anything at the moment. It's just a feeling. So we're going to keep dripping lightly there. I'm going to leave this left hand one completely unfed. Drip the right, drip that, and leave these two positive swims up, um, untouched for a little bit longer. Give them both an hour before I drop on them. We'll drop short again soon. Just see if any have arrived. Just a tiny little disturbance on the float, nothing to strike at. But there's definitely some up there. They're clearly not moving a lot, these fish. Even that carp didn't give me a proper bite. So I've got an 18 on at the moment. We might end up putting a 20 on. There's one there. Roach. Nice roach. Can line them up, we'll be laughing. It's gonna take a little while. Much quicker bite than a single pinky. Single pinky. Interesting. Assuming it's a carp. Oh, it's one of them little ghosties. Come on. Get out of there. Lovely fish. Should count as four ounces or something, really, shouldn't they? Look at that little ghost mirror. They are beautiful fish. But not, not counters.
catching a few small fish. Nothing massive. A couple of chunky hybrids though, they, they weigh. So first look on the left hand swim, which I've not touched for an hour. Just over an hour. We'll see if it goes straight on. No, over a carp or two there. A little, little blink then I think. It's promising. Tend to net everything regardless because uh, they can easily come off and trash your rig. I feed the other swim just loose ground bait and a pinch of live pinkies. I uh, completely leave this swim alone as far as topping up and loose feeding and everything goes and just see if any better fish settle on it. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. I don't know, you wouldn't think there's a fish in the peg to start with. Next was that another carp. Carp number three, please. Please be a tench. Oh, it's a carp. A little nice mirror. Doing well, I haven't lost the hook length yet. He's got another one as well. Straight back in and uh, it was given literally instantly. Two dead pinkies. I assume that's another car, number four. That's what you'd have if you weren't playing car all the time. A little ghosty. Clear it out, so I might as well keep feeding. Dropped in short again, anyway, just to say. Hopefully, there's some roach there now, or skimmers. But if I'm gonna do a weight, the shorter I can catch, the better, obviously. I've changed my hook length anyway, even though those carp haven't broken it, they've kinked it a little bit, so I've put a fresh one on. I'm not gonna spend too long there. a bite long and there's four bites on the bounce here oh. well, I expected real much they're not bad they were catching I can catch them fast they're not bad oh good look at that for a good gene that's a good year. First look on the left, closer in. Not touch the swim, straight away. Skimmer. 
So I'll put that big ball in. So they don't seem to mind it. Oh, this hill behind is a nightmare. Oh, it's a little car. <laughs> Very hopeful. There's only a small one that. Oh dear. That's a nice little lift bite for that. Don't wait a little bit there, let's try single dead again. There's a car on the drop. Someone's pole part, I thought it was a cork. Got someone's big guru pole pop. <laughs> Give that to someone. That was a nice quick bite on a single day. God, I'm getting a feeling now it's going to be like three or four fish. Top up, leave it. Two, three, four fish, top up, leave it. Oh, that Just flick that probably eight, ten inches past. And it's uh, someone's playing with it. That mini extension on. That's what I expected, really. Little skimmers, not many of the brown ones, if any. They'll all catch them to my right. struggling for a bite now but my last fish was a bream or a big skimmer anyway proper bonus for for this end of the lake yeah, gone down to a, a lighter rig with a four elastic and a 20 hook had a bream on it straight away 
really struggling for bites now. But I don't mind if they're all pound and a half fish like that last one I just had. Short lines completely gone. One roach, that's all. One bite, one roach, can't get a bite short. It's all gone quiet, said Rhubarb. I reckon there's a carp knocking about. Oh, carp in the tail on a four elastic. <laughs> Beautiful fish. Why can't you be a skimmer? Definitely had more carp on the deeper left hand swim. I've had my bream from the straight in front swim. 13 carp now. <laughs> Every single one I've got out, that's number 14. Carp carnage. Fourteen. This is carp number fifteen. But not what we're after. Sixteen carp. Du, 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 du. Baby carp. Du, 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 du. Sixteen carp. Du, 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 du. Baby carp. Oh, stupidly caught. With it being so weird, put some pellets in. So I've gone to the right, put some pellets in. Two mil expander. First. First drop. I can't believe none of these have broke me. Well, I've had 17 carp long now. Oh. <laughs> Just about to say I haven't had one short. That's a carp. <laughs> 18. I can't believe that. How easy are they getting coming in as well? Slippery sucker. Oh, he's slimy. This is really good now. They're not massive skimmers. This isn't a bit. This is a better one. They've settled down now. I haven't looked at cart for a while, so I'm tempting fate, but I'm catching really well. A couple of inches over depth, double dead pinky. Catch two on that swim, then feed. Seems to be the way. Quite a lot of pinks in there. Tried pellets, so I've had four fish on pellets, three carp on a 
Oh, a little screen. Waste of time. Pop that in. It should go pretty quick. If they're reading the rule book. It's getting a little bit messy now though. At no point today I've really been able to lay it in and get a bite immediately. I've had to wait a little bit. I don't think there's loads of fish feeding. Oh, elastic spot on for these tinies. Little feral look skimmer. So we just sat over it. Repeat the process. Just as I said, I haven't had many roach. Catch a roach. Two nice hybrids on the bounce on the short line. Exactly the same. Double pinky. About an inch. Just took an inch over now. Seems best. Get a better bite. I imagine with it being so calm. Two nice pinkies. Just a little bit in there. Hybrid. Stuck on 18 carp. <laughs> the last hour I've not seen one. I'm not complaining, but uh, I'm surprised. What do we do? Five minutes on there, see if we can't catch a better one. Then we'll go along again, I think. Just about to come off it. That's a better skin of those. Stay on. It doesn't work on. Knocking short. Just about to come off them as well. <laughs> Try that again. A really gig hybrid. Just as I was starting, I think the carp is gone. One more fish before the whistle. has been the best rig by far today. 4x12 Marmon Secret. That's on 014 line. Four elastic. It's been really good because of the shallow water and the small look. And I've got 
uh, a little strong bulk of 12s and then still number 12s, 6 inch hook length and a 20 to 08 it's took a lot of messing around but uh, by far the best feed today it's been little sloppy balls with dead pinkies in quite rich with pinkies that seems to be the right way to feed today it took ages to work it out well, we're just waiting for the scales now I'll be the last one to weigh I think I've had a day's fishing I've had uh, some small skimmers and hybrids uh, two brown ones and uh, 19 carp <laughs> actually I've hooked 20 one just came off and uh, the other 19 were quite easily netted so uh, I've not lost a hook length to a carp but I've hooked 20 of them <laughs> I'm gonna have double figures but uh, I imagine my my prediction is um, sort of a 9 10 11 12 13 are all gonna have double figures um, of brown fish probably one of them will have 20 pound and I haven't got 20 pound but we'll see we'll see you never know Well, that'll just about be enough, don't you? Is it close? Seems like 12 pounds. 14 exactly. Yeah, 14 dead. Does that count? Does that qualify? Yeah, that's qualified. Does that have a picture? Better get a photo, hasn't I? Yeah. Well, uh, I don't want to go all the way up the Bolton. I've only come to fish the matches. There's a the final one. Bradshaw, Bradshaw. Oh, oh, I thought it was Meadowlands. No, last yeah, year was Meadowlands. Okay. Those two browns be on top, mate. Look like a couple of those big ones. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, Tony Brown. They do, don't they? I hope you enjoyed that session. There's plenty more where that came from this year. This channel is going to get bigger and better, I promise you. So uh, don't forget to check out my channel members area as well. If it wasn't for my channel members, I wouldn't be able to do films like this one as well. It all adds up and it really does make a difference. So uh, keep supporting my channel. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on another fishing session.